Well, tonight marks two years since the Dobbs decision that overturned Roe versus Wade and national protections for abortion. On the steps of the Supreme Court, abortion rights activists gathered, briefly clashing with some counter protesters. The issue is expected to be front and center in the November election. Meanwhile, New Hampshire has the strictest abortion laws in New England, a ban in most cases 24 weeks after conception, and parents must be notified for patients under 18. Well, tonight, an abortion rights rally at the State House in Concord with actor Tony Goldwyn coming in the wake of the public learning of a teacher's controversial firing in Amherst. Our NBC10 Boston's Aaron Logan joining us live outside the school with that story all new at 11. Aaron. Priscilla, a lot of mixed emotions on this one, especially on this particular evening involving abortion rights. The teacher worked for Regional Schools and Education Center. The school wouldn't comment, but they did confirm that the parents were all notified. A New Hampshire teacher fired for allegedly taking a student who attends a special needs school to have an abortion. I feel for any student who's put in a situation where they have to make big decisions about their health care and don't feel like they can turn to their parents. Across this country, at a packed reproductive rights event in Concord, many speaking out in favor of the teacher, saying she was put in a tough situation. I feel like the teacher was just doing what they felt as a human um, and putting their job at risk. And as a student, like, you go to your teachers because you trust them. That's way above her pay grade to begin with. And a student should not be in that situation. Like, there needs to be a better support system. A report from the New Hampshire Department of Education says the teacher admitted to faking a sick day to take the student to have a medical procedure. It also details the teacher assured she spoke to the student for more than two weeks about options and finding a safe facility. The state's Education Department Commissioner Frank Edelbutt sounding the alarm in an op-ed against the teacher's alleged behavior in the incident. Protesters at Monday evening's pro-choice Concord event also sounding off. The teacher should not be involved with them, taking kids to those clinics. Medical procedures? I mean, you can't give a kid an aspirin in school, and yet you can take them to have an ab abortion, which may have complications, and not tell a parent, no. I think the teacher should be fired, and I don't think she should ever get a job again. Now, documents given to us by the Department of Education show that the teacher's license and registration are valid pending the results of the investigation. Her identity is not being revealed. Live in Amherst, New Hampshire tonight, Erin Logan, NBC10 Boston.